Hello, my name is Fiona Grimm. I'm a senior analyst at the Health Foundation and I'm presenting an analysis we did with uh, electronic patient records on um, the association between mental health disorders and healthcare utilisation in people with type 2 diabetes. For a little bit of background, we know that a lot of people with type 2 diabetes have additional long-term conditions. Uh, the three most frequent ones are hypertension, which is also a risk factor for diabetes, um, as well as uh, painful conditions or chronic pain, and depression or anxiety. But we know that apart from these three most prevalent conditions, the level of multimorbidity in general is high. Um, so 75% of patients have one additional condition, but close to half of uh, people with type 2 diabetes have two or more additional conditions. So if we ever wanted to look at the effect of, um, let's say, mental health or chronic pain, we would need to take into account the, the number of additional conditions. So we also know that um, poor mental health in diabetes is linked to um, uh, problems with uh, treatment and management of, of the condition. Um, we know that it can have negative effects on treatment adherence and on the ability of patients to self-manage their condition. Um, and in the literature, there is also good evidence um, for links to poor glycemic control uh, and an increased risk of experiencing diabetes-related um, complications or mortality. So Diabetes UK have pointed out a number of times that support for emotional and psychological well-being is one of the areas uh, for improvement for diabetes care in the UK. And that is because there is still a lack of access um, specifically to uh, tailored support, um, specifically to type 2 diabetes. Um, and where it is av available, um, the, the support is often not integrated um, as well with other services as it could be. So what we wanted to do with this analysis is to better understand the impact of uh, poor mental health on patients and on the healthcare system and to hopefully provide evidence that is useful um, to service planners and to clinicians to, to provide patients with the kind of care that they need. So the first aim was uh, to quantify how frequently people with type 2 diabetes access different kinds of healthcare services in the UK. Um, and the second aim was to then um, associate, uh, examine the association between common mental health disorders, chronic pain and healthcare use and outcomes. So in terms of study design, we started with data from the CPRD uh, and we extracted retrospective data on people with diabetes uh, that included primary care records um, as well as secondary care records from HES. We also had um, mortality information from ONS um, as well as uh, information on area level deprivation. So after applying a number of inclusion and exclusion criteria, we then used a multi-step algorithm um, that used information from both diagnosis codes and prescriptions to identify which of these patients had specifically type 2 diabetes. And we then had a study cohort of close to 70,000 people. Um, and for these, we extracted um, uh, baseline estimates on uh, glycemic control, on whether they had a diagnosis for depression or anxiety or chronic pain, um, as well as 33 other long-term conditions, which form um, the Cambridge Multimorbidity Index. Um, and these uh, people were then followed up retrospectively, of course, for two years, and we quantify health, quantified healthcare use um, and health outcomes. So to start with uh, a, little, a few descriptives on our study cohort, um, which confirm what I was talking about in the introduction, um, and that was that we found that um, both chronic pain and depression and anxiety were highly prevalent in this cohort. <clears throat> So for, close to 40% had a painful condition and 21.7% uh, had depression or anxiety. Um, and there was a big overlap between the two. Um, and something that we always um, also noticed um, during uh, the descriptive part of the study was that uh, people with type 2 diabetes and uh, chronic pain or depression or anxiety also had a, a higher number of additional long-term conditions um, which means for us that if we do want to isolate the effect of either um, mental health um, problems or chronic pain, we need to take into account the additional uh, long-term conditions as well. Um, so we just looked at um, crude healthcare use uh, represented by the, the 
annual number of contacts, um, both in, in primary care, in outpatients, um, A&E attendances and emergency admissions. And what I'm showing here is the um, study cohort cut in a number of different ways. So um, in red, I'm showing all patients. Um, blue and purple is with or without a diagnosis for depression or anxiety. Uh, and yellow and green show with and without a um, diagnosis for uh, chronic pain. Um, and I think it's it's pretty obvious from just looking at the bars that um, the groups with um, depression or anxiety or a painful condition had a higher number of annual contacts um, specifically in primary care which is what we expect because type 2 diabetes is primarily managed in primary care but the same pattern was um, was also um, there in outpatient attendances a and e and emergency admissions so the next step for us, the next step was then to um, to adjust for for other clinical factors and other long term conditions which might um, might influence healthcare use. Um, and that we used uh, negative binomial regression models that we adjusted for uh, patient demographics, how well uh, the uh, diabetes was controlled, so glycemic control, and the the number of additional long term conditions. And we found that both depression or anxiety uh, and painful conditions led to a um, significantly higher number of annual contacts, both in primary care, in outpatients and also A&E attendances. Um, we then uh, looked at health outcomes um, where we took a, a survival modeling approach. So we used Cox proportional hazard models, uh, which were adjusted for the same factors. Um, and we, we found that um, depression or anxiety and as well as painful conditions um, uh, quite dramatically increased the risk for experiencing an emergency hospital admissions and um, their risk um, for mortality as well. So to summarize this, um, we found a strong association between depression or anxiety, uh, chronic pain and increased healthcare use and also uh, a higher risk for poor outcomes in people with type 2 diabetes. Um, the question is then um, what to do about this, so how to um, meet this additional need, because what we're seeing is that although these patients have a have higher healthcare utilization, they still they still have worse outcomes, so don't seem to be um, receiving exactly the kind of support they need. Um, there is already some evidence that um, suggests that um, psychological interventions tailored for, for type 2 diabetes um, can be affected, but effective, but um, it's possible that there is that better integration into the care pathway is needed. And there's also still a question around um, patients with more complex uh, mental health needs that might not be able to be met by, for example, a, a service like IAPT. Um, obviously now, since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak, the, the context and also the service use will have changed quite dramatically. We know that service use has, has decreased. This is most likely also true for patients with type 2 diabetes. Um, just a couple of days ago, uh, NHS England published a, a preprint of an analysis that showed that people with diabetes in England have more than double the risk of dying during the COVID-19 epidemic. Um, so we think that in the future, it'll be really, really crucial to understand what has happened to service use um, of people with type 2 diabetes during this time um, and what the effect of specific comorbidity is on, on health health outcomes. Um, so with that, I'd like to end and uh, thank you very much for listening. I'd also like to acknowledge my uh, collaborators and everyone else who's fed into this um, uh, project. Uh, if you do have any questions, get in touch on Twitter and there is more information available on GitHub. Thank you.